I know it's hard to say, but it's just waking up. Um, got a good workout today with uh, Mickey, so I'm gonna go wash up, uh, get ready to go down there, and hang out with her. So it's not super early, six thirty. So yeah, we're gonna get ready to go down there, hang out with her. Take a shower first, and then uh, we'll be on our way. Here we go. I'm gonna take a shower. So we're gonna go take a shower now. Wash up, be nice and refreshed before the morning starts. Then we're gonna head down. Do we gotta go? So it's shower time. Eat something healthy. Uh, show you what I eat in the morning. Uh, and then we're gonna go down and have a great workout with Mickey. She's a new, newer uh, client of mine, so uh, it's be new things. Uh, she's a seasoned adult, so the workouts are gonna be a little different. Uh, less than ten, so more focused on agility, flexibility. So I want to shower, get nice and cleaned up, and. Then we'll go eat some breakfast. Well, showered and dressed now. Getting ready to go meet Miss Mickey. But uh, finishing off the aloe from last night. It's not essentials. It's aloe, uh, ultimate aloe for heartburn. Clearing out the skin. Uh, lubricating the digestive tract. I'm actually about to transfer that out. For some of our isotonics, you can see OPC3. Yeah. OPC3 is good for anti inflammatory, leaving allergies, and what's the last one? Uh, I forgot. What is it? Anti inflammatory, leaving allergies, and antioxidants, right? Help clean out the blood, multivitamin. But it's in B complex, yeah, has everything you need in it as well. Activated, good for bone, multivitamin, good for the whole body. Calcium, good for the bone. So this is a little pack of everything you need. I take these first thing in the morning. I'm gonna pour it right in here. Uh, hold on one second. Here. It's actually supposed to be taken with eight to 12 ounces. I'm using 20. I like my things watered down. Uh, I love water. Big fan of water. So I'm using 20 ounces. You're supposed to use uh, 8 to 10 uh, to see better results. So. Nice. Uh, a little bit more. All done. Vitamins are all there. Let's shake this bad boy up. All right. There we go. Full supply of nutrients. Uh, I usually drink two of those typically a day, uh, just to make sure I get all my nutrients in for the day. I've actually been on a straight supplement diet because uh, I've eat everything. So I only eat dinner now. I don't eat breakfast or lunch. Uh, just dinner, but I'll show you what I do snack on. Uh, I do snack on stuff throughout the day, uh, even though I only eat two, one real meal, which is dinner. So if you go in here, let's see. Yeah, I snack on this peanut butter. Get my protein in peanut butter, granola, Nature Valley. So this is one of the things I snack on throughout the day, as well as where are you? these cashews but these are my snacks this is what i eat throughout the day uh and then supplements only you know proteins the uh ultimate aloe for my heartburn the isotonics uh for my vitamins and the little snacks on those uh which fills me up and gives me everything i need and then i eat a real dinner at night uh just to keep an even balance so now we're gonna get going uh i'm gonna let you know when we get closer to the gym um meet up with Mickey, but that's kind of like my daily routine. Uh, so just get in the habit of staying healthy and, it, you know, by the time it's 6 p.m., 
you feel good, you are good, you didn't put you didn't put on any unnecessary weight, um, things are working in your favor. So um, I will show you when we get close to making today. I said it's gonna be a nice, easy workout. Um, so yeah, we'll see you there. So uh, just arrived at the gym, got changed. Uh, Wait on Mickey to come now, so you should see her shortly. Oh, we get started. Tell me, like I said before, now um, she said that she doesn't mind being recorded, but I'm not 100% sure. So if she doesn't, then you're just seeing me do the workouts and not her. Uh, but uh, we'll see when she gets here. I'm sure she'll be here in a couple seconds. You guys, that we were going to uh, see visit Mickey and work out but I actually went to the wrong gym and then it took a longer period of time going to the right gym and she, she had was in a rush so we just talked about you know starting up and what we should do and I actually have a piece of paper here and I'm gonna write up uh, some plans and some things we talked about um, so this went from a uh, well, it was an introductory section anyway, because what I like to do before I get started training anybody is I uh, like to, you know, learn out what your goals are, what you're trying to lose, what you're trying to gain, shred it, lose weight. Um, and then I also asked, uh, you know, what are you eating? What are your diet plans? Because I need to know, you know, what you're eating, what your diet plans on so we can try and uh, fix those goals as well. Um, yeah, you're really... Uh really try and uh you know ask them so and it's it's really it's quite simple and i'll write some things out for you so give me a second so i finished all my drawings and i'll show it to you now um so actually i'm just going to turn the camera around so you can see it a little better give me a second uh this is as far as dieting goes uh this is you know just something i look at and i focus on so as far as the dieting part goes i don't try to change out a whole bunch i kind of go based on what you do, how much you eat, uh, different days you eat. Uh, this is, if you eat two meals one day, four meals the other day, cheat day, whatever. Uh, this is just a kind of list that I go by. So for example, if you eat five plus meals a day, you gotta have two healthy substitution meals and one snack substitution. So what I mean by that is uh, no breads. Uh, obviously no sugars, no candies, no cakes. So let's say you, for lunch you usually eat, I don't know, a pile of chocolate, make it a pile of fruit. Uh, that's like, you, but then like your fourth meal, instead of eating, you know, a hoagie, take the bread out and eat everything inside the hoagie, but without the bread. And then one snack, because we all like to do snack, and you know, on the way from home, maybe we have like a little bag of chips, have a little bag of almonds. So that's uh, one example. We also have four meals a day. If you have four meals a day, it's two healthy substitutions, no snack. Uh, same thing before, uh, take out anything unhealthy. If you need help with that, I could help you. Um, but basically, you really want to take out the breads and the sugars. Big time on breads uh, and pastas. Uh, so definitely take that out if you're doing four meals. If you're down to three meals a day, then it's just one healthy substitution. Doesn't matter if it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Two meals a day. Uh, only a snack substitution and I do that because we're only eating two meals a day because it's a busy day you need that food to fuel your body so just the snack um, to substitute um, and then one of the biggest things that we that we do when we gain or lose weight is right here no eating after midnight unless it's healthy sometimes we eat after midnight and that's terrible for us because we're not doing anything now some of us we work the midnight shift so in that you know scenario it's a little different but if you're going to eat after midnight, which sometimes we do because we stay up later, it has to be healthy because you're not going to be doing too much. Your body's ready to go to sleep. Metabolism slows down, so you're not going to burn as much. So you really want to eat healthy during that time. Fruits, some vegetables. And what I, you really should do is plan ahead. If you know you're going to be up late or you're going to be busy, then the day before or a couple hours before, put something together. Because I've learned that when I put something together and have something ready, I'll grab that first, but when the healthy stuff, uh, foods are not ready, I'll grab what is easy, which is like a bag of chips or some fruit, uh, not some fruit, or a bar, or I don't know, some chocolate if it's there. I don't have it because uh, I'm eating healthy, but uh, yeah, if that's there, then I uh, grab that. Uh, but if the healthy stuff is there, prepare it. This was really big and uh, seeing better results um, when you're working out. And I tell my people that I train the same thing. This is important when 
it really helps you when you can see better results if you eat healthy and really help and a big part of it is planning ahead so if you're gonna have a late night I'm gonna be up at 2 a.m. and make a little fruit bowl make some uh, potassium some nuts some almonds put it together in the fridge so when you get hungry it's right there so you don't have to run around for it. it's quick it's easy you grab it, you eat it and you'll be for uh, feeling fulfilled um, afterwards back to this uh, as far as working out goes, how I usually gauge it is, I gauge it by strength. So the first time I do a workout with anybody, it doesn't matter who they are or where I do the workout at, I always start really easy, really, really easy day. Uh, everything's basic. I use all machines. That way I can gauge how strong someone's getting and they can see it themselves. And uh, so I use all machines and we start really easy. Uh, I take out my notebook or my phone, whatever I use to take notes uh, that day, and I ask them, you know, is this easy? How does this feel? And they let me know, this is super easy, or this is too hard to make it easier. And I always want it to be really easy on the first day, because your body hasn't got that first level of soreness out. When you're not used to working out, that first level of soreness is killer. It sucks. It's terrible. You want to get it out the way quick, so we don't really go too heavy. The first day is nice and light. You don't know what your body, plus your body isn't used to using those muscles, so I really don't want to injure yourself before we start. So super light day, you say, okay, this is really light, cool. So next day we go up by 10 pounds, the next time you hit those muscles. And for each muscle we do the same thing, something really, really light to start, just to make sure we could do it. And I always do three sets of 10. Uh, and by that, if you're struggling to do the first set of 10, it's too heavy. You should not be struggling until you're at least halfway through the second set. So rep number 15 is when you should start to really be pushing. The first set of 10 should be a little difficult but not too much. The second set should be pretty difficult and then the last set should be the most difficult. And that's the order. That's how you know. When you can get through two sets with it being pretty easy, that's how you know you should move up. And if you can't get through, if it's really, if you like need a little help or it's really hard to get through the first set, then it's too hard. Never be afraid to go too light. You could not get injured going too light uh, or it's really hard to. But going too heavy is a high possibility of getting injured. Um, so this is what I do. This is the talk I had with uh, Mickey today uh, when she was going over. She uh, wanted to tone up her arms, uh, you know, more muscle in the legs, lose some of the belly. And I said, you know, you really... I can do what I want to do with you, but you really have to try. And she's a three meal day eater, so one meal, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, doesn't matter what it is, cut the bread out. Because I, like, I like to talk about what you eat, so I know. Some people don't eat bread, so sometimes it's other stuff. Uh, and like I said, if you have questions about that, just ask me. I'll tell you what to cut out of what meals. Remember, it doesn't have to be breakfast every day. Sometimes it could just be dinner, as long as it's at least one meal. And just tell me what your meals are, what the foods are you usually eat, and I will tell you what food to cut out of that meal that day or, you know, for that week so you know. So you cut out one meal or if that's really hard, just one snack. Could be all snacks. So maybe one time I get cheese and pepperoni. Uh, I see that Wawa all the time. Uh, it's a big one of my snacks that I get. So just start with that. Once that becomes a habit, you go to one meal. Um, and then you can, you can obviously work on from there and from there. Uh, but then... And then with working out, for some of those who, you know, are not uh, close by, across seas, across the country that I can't really get to the train, always start really light just to get your body back in a groove, kind of like a warm-up, and then you know where to go from there. I also go up by small increments, five pounds at the most, depending on the muscle. Now chest and, you know, back, legs, those are bigger muscles, so I'll go up by 10 pounds if it's, you know, if I'm feeling good. But it's usually five pounds or two and a half pounds. The point is that you keep moving forward and you don't go backwards. So you always want to move forward. And I know two and a half is not a lot, but it's more than what you did, which means you are getting stronger. So don't be afraid to move up by smaller increments at first, just because it seems like it's a lighter weight. Um, so I'll show you some examples of some stuff in the fridge and in the kitchen of uh, what to eat and what not to eat. My brothers aren't that really that healthy. So I'll show you some stuff they have, what to cut out, what you can use, what you cannot use. Hold on. Uh, let's see. So cabinet. Avid cereal, sweet cereal, probably not the best. Non-GMO, gluten-free. Gluten-free popcorn. Not a bad snack to have. Uh, calories. Good on calories. So see, that's not a really bad snack to have. 
first these, even though they're unsalted. No. Another thing that I've gotten uh, are these sea salt veggie tips, 30% less fat. Um, pretty good to snack on. Uh, one, of the, one of the bigger things I snack on. Um, if you go into the freezer, you'll see some things like this. No. That's uh, burritos, the bread is too bad. Obviously, no on the bacon. Wings. Mm. Wings aren't too bad if you eat it in moderation. It's not really too bad. Obviously, fish is okay. And chicken. Chicken is okay. And then my fruit. Obviously, this is what I use to make my... Uh, I use that to make my uh, smoothies in the morning, so obviously that's okay as well. Uh, if we go down in here, no on the butter. This is not the greatest butter. It says zero grams of trans fat, so that's good, but I still try not to use anything that needs the butter. No on bread, even though it's wheat, uh, it's the best kind, but still no. Um, try not to eat that. Um, no bread. And if you do, let it be the weak kind. Obviously, vegetables are fine. Eggs are fine. Meats and cheeses are fine. Uh, kale, fruits and vegetables. You can see I did it, just did some shopping. Fruits and vegetables. More oranges. Uh, so you'll see some things that you can and cannot eat. These are usually fine, but this kind, oatmeal is fine um, in moderation, but that kind with all the sugars and special sweeteners and nonsense that it gets going on is not good. If we open our cabinet, you'll see coffee, uh, tea, so always better for you drink the tea. Coffee is fine too, I guess. Um, I'm big on soups, so you can see here we got sausage, progressive soup. Um, no artificial flavor, flavors or colors. It's pretty good for you. Uh, so more soups. Obviously my favorite thing to eat. Stay away from these. My brother's favorite thing. Stay away from that kind of stuff. Uh, sweet potatoes. They're not bad. You can actually have some of those. Mayonnaise. Not the greatest either. Uh, you can eat the peanut butter or you can eat it with this. Crushed tomatoes. Obviously, it's not bad. So, uh, that's just my fridge. Certain things I have. I go through there. I find out what I can and cannot eat. I try to make meals with what I can eat and put it together so that way I'm ready to eat it when I need it. So, I can... Because if you don't know what's in there, you just go in there and you find something. So, you want to know where the healthy stuff is first to non. So, you can start going into the part of your fridges where the healthy stuff is at. So, that way you can, um, you know, go away from uh, eating unhealthy you want to have a plan, give yourself a plan, a game plan, and you'll do pretty well. I'm about to eat some more, um, eat some dinner. I just got home from more training. Uh, but yeah, so that's uh, some more on the health part uh, um, aspect. So finally for, um, I guess this is our closing now. Um, always be motivated. Um, things take a time. Uh, be motivated and realize that things take time, uh, especially when you're working out or doing health. So don't be afraid if results aren't there right away when you want them to be. Uh, usually good results take at least two to four months, uh, good results. So don't be afraid if it's taken some time and it hasn't happened yet. It's going to happen. Keep with it. Keep pushing. It's a snowball effect eventually becomes a huge snowball rolling down the hill and everything is perfect so uh let things take its time don't be afraid don't be worried if it's not happening right away with your health with the gym just keep grinding it out and you will be the snack that you want to be so don't forget to subscribe and then click the notification bell and i'll see you next time